Hello everyone. We have been learning about similarity of triangles and in the previous video we have also seen all the axioms or the postulates of similarity. I assure you that this video is going to be interesting. It is one of the main or the most important application of similarity which one could think of. Now consider a right angle triangle. Let me rotate this right angle triangle so that the hypotenuse becomes the base of the triangle. I am doing it so because I just want to draw a perpendicular from the right angle to its base. So this is the right angle. Let me show you because you should remember this is the right, uh, right angle. Let me call the right angle as A and the triangle as ABC. So this triangle is right angled at A. I, if I want to write it with the right angle in between, I represent it as triangle BAC. Now how many triangles can you see in this figure? You have three triangles in fact. Apart from BAC, you have two more right triangles. Both of them are right angled here since AD is the perpendicular. We have drawn AD perpendicular to BC. So you have one ADB. This triangle ADB is also right, ang uh, right triangle, right angled at D. And another one triangle ADC. Apart from that you have a triangle BAC. So you have three triangles in this figure in front of you. Now in this video we are going to explore the relationship between these three triangles. So consider this first triangle BAC and this triangle ADB. So this is also a right angle triangle and it is right angled at D. So let me uh, try and see if there is any similarity. Uh, at least two angles should be equal according to the postulates which we just learnt now. We should uh, if we can say that at least two angles are equal then we can say that these two triangles are similar. So D is right angled just like A and C is common. Sorry this is triangle ADB right the first triangle. So B is common to both the triangles. So they are similar. The third angle will automatically be equal. So they are going to be similar. So let me write it in order. The order is very important when we write uh, two similar triangles. So since B is common let me write B in the same place first place and uh, the equivalent to A I will have to mention D here because D is also right angled. A is right angled in, in this triangle and D is right angled in this triangle ADB. So D and what is left now? A is left right. So I will have to write it as BDA. So these two triangles are similar. Now let us see if there is any relation between the same triangle BAC and the other triangle. What is the other triangle? ADC. Here also we find that uh, one is right angled, D, the triangle is right angled at D and now this time C is common to both. right? So automatically the third angle has to be equal to one another and so these two triangles are similar to one another. So let us write the order properly again. This time since C is common to both, let me write C in the same place, the third place. And here in the second place we have 90 degree angle A. So here I will have to mention D. right? And the one which is left now is A. So I have written the similar triangles in proper order. In the order of similarity how it matches, the angles matches. So now we have al al already seen, we have worked on it that if two triangles are similar their sides are in proportion. Isn't it? Now you may just wonder why I am heading to sides being in proportion. I am going to use this basic similarity between these three triangles. What are the three triangles now? Triangle BAC is similar to triangle BDA and this is similar to triangle ADC. I am going to use this similarity to prove the most famous Pythagoras theorem. Of course, all of you would be knowing the Pythagoras theorem now, but we are going to use the similarity in triangles. Whatever we learned till now, similarity in triangles to prove this Pythagoras theorem. Right? And uh, so let us use it. So, of course, we know the Pythagoras theorem. Let us see we can, if we can derive it using whatever we know now. 
So as I said before, since uh, corresponding angles are equal and they are uh, similar triangles, the corresponding sides are in proportion. So let me take this first, the first set of triangles and write the corresponding sides. Let me see, uh, let me have the hypotenuse in every ratio so that I finally I will have to arrive at similarity, isn't it? So for the first set, the hypotenuse is BC, the uh, side opposite to angle A, the right angle is the hypotenuse, so which is BC. So what BC divided by, uh, let me take AB one side AB because AB is common to both these triangles isn't it. So BC by AB of the first triangle BAC would be equal to because I have written these two uh, similarity the triangle similarity I have taken pains to write it in order of similarity I can find out the side proportional to these two sides from here itself. So B and C the first and the third position so this is equal to B A the first and the third position in the second set and what about A B the second and first so this is equal to D B and whether it is A B or B A it is all the same because we are just talking about the lengths of the sides they are all numbers the lengths of the sides are numbers so B C by A B and B A is the same as A B so this can also be written as A B. It, uh, it does not make any difference at all. So, what do I derive from this? I by cross multiplication I can say that AB squared is equal to BC multiplied by DB right. So, let me have it for now and for the second one the second set of triangles which are similar to one another once again let me write the sides which are in proportion again I am going to use the hypotenuse uh, so BC and uh, let me compare it to the side which is common which is AC in this triangle now we are talking about ADC triangle ADC so what is common between BAC and ADC this side AC so BC by AC and this would be equal to B and C, A and C, right? Would be equal to, um, let me take these two, AC and DC, these two sides, right? So this is equal to AC by DC. And cross, cross multiplying these two ratios, I get AC squared is equal to BC multiplied by DC. Of course, here I did it using uh, these two, the way I have written the similarity. You can also use the sides and do it. I find, I found it simpler because I have taken pains to write it in, but you know, in order. The similarity has been represented in order. So, I use this order to write the ratios between sides. So, now we have AB squared is equal to BC into DB and AC squared is equal to BC into DC. Let me just add both. Now you may wonder why I am adding both. I am adding both because finally what I want to say is the Pythagoras theorem. So let me add both. They are the sum of the squares, isn't it, of two sides of the triangle. So I am adding both to see what the sum of the squares of the two sides of a right triangle is. I get BC multiplied by DB plus BC multiplied by DC. I have taken this from these two equations. So what do I get? Just the second um, uh, set BC multiplied by DB plus DC, right? And what is DB plus DC? If you look at the triangle, this is db and this is dc so db plus dc is nothing but bc isn't it db plus dc is that hypotenuse bc so i can write this as bc multiplied by bc or what is it that is equal to bc squared so i have AC squared plus AB squared is equal to BC squared and this is my Pythagoras theorem, isn't it? The sum of the squares of uh, the two sides of the triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So we have AC squared plus AB squared. Let me rewrite it here. 
AC squared plus AB squared is equal to BC squared and using this concept of similarity and triangles we have proved the Pythagoras theorem. I hope you found this interesting. Thank you.